Hi there, thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. Today I have a question from Emily, and I'll read you what she says. She goes, am I sabotaging all my relationships? I have difficulty opening up in my partnerships. I guess you could say that I'm not very comfortable in my own skin, and I often am emotionally shut down. The first few months go by okay in most of my relationships, but as I get to know them more, it makes me revert inward each time. My childhood wasn't very loving, and I'm wondering if that is a big part of my problem. What can I do to change things so I can have a wonderful partnership? Thanks, Cyber Sue, Emily. Well, the one thing, when you shut down in a partnership, it shuts your partner out. So, because of the fact that you know you are repeating this situation, because you say all of my relationships, there's a big problem here that needs to be rectified. You need to find out what it is. And I can bet you that it probably does have a lot to do with your childhood. When you come from an unloving background, you don't necessarily even know what love is because you weren't shown. So to you, it's, it could mean just somebody being around. It could be somebody just hanging, hanging beside you. And you don't have any real connection with that person. So this can be why you, you feel like things are good for a couple of months because you're getting to know them. And then all of a sudden when you feel that there's more happening and you're more getting into more of a commitment phase with them, that's what makes you shut down. It's unfamiliar to you. You're not used to having somebody be there and be it romantic or loving. So all these things are foreign. And this is what's causing, I think, the biggest problem. I'm not a psycholog psychologist here. But usually when there is something like this from your past that you've had to deal with for many years, it does become a bit of a problem as you grow into an adult because you haven't dealt with it. So being emotionally introverted is a protection of your heart for the most part. It's because you don't really know what you're supposed to do. You don't know the feeling. So you just sort of shut everything down because you're not really sure what you're supposed to do anyway. This is why it's so important to have love in your life so you know what it is, what is expected in a relationship, what makes you close to a person. And if you're not communicating in a romantic sense with somebody because your heart doesn't know how to give to that person like that, you're gonna have the same results every single time that your relationship gets to the three month mark because you're just going to say to yourself, I just can't do it. I don't even know what I'm supposed to do or feel. I think it might be worth it for you to talk to somebody in a professional sense about this therapist, because when something is deep and you are repeating a pattern a lot, you really want to get to the bottom of it because it's just going to be hurtful every time. You're not going to trust any relationship because it's going to fizzle the same amount of time every with every person you date. You want to be able to feel that you can trust somebody and open up to them. Because shutting yourself down and being and not having the confidence to give to somebody is hurtful. It's hurtful to you and it's hurtful to the people that you do let in your life because you're not equipped to deal with, with the love part of it. You're fine getting to know them. You have no problems attracting them towards you, which is a good sign, but they fizzle and they fizzle because you haven't dealt with the big problem that's there. Being in a one-sided partnership is really hard. It's hard on you and it's hard on the person that you're with because they're not, it's not fair. You're not giving them what they, they want and what they deserve and you're not getting it. So it's just kind of a repetitive situation that really needs to be changed and looked at. And the fact that you're writing me about it is good because it sounds like you're now at the point where you understand why there's a problem and maybe what the reason is. So now you just have to do the one step further and talk to somebody about it. Get to the bottom of it. Maybe talk to your parents if you have a relationship with them. Figure out what was missing or just maybe talk to them if you can. If you don't have a relationship with your parents, well, this is probably one of the reasons that you are having problems in your own adult relationships. So really look into this very closely because it might not be a lot of work for you to figure it out. You may just have a couple of things in there that are stuck 
And when anything is repetitive, it is stuck. And you want to try and figure out how you can get this out of your system so that you can have the love you deserve. Because it's not really fair that you weren't shown it when you were younger, and so you have to take that into your adult life. You need to figure this out so that you can have a really solid commitment with somebody. Because it sounds like that's what you're looking for. Because you have dated quite a few people, but they just keep ending the same way. And so yes, in answer to your question, you are sabotaging it. And I'm sorry to have to say that, but it's because the same thing is happening every time. And it's your confidence that's not there about being able to maintain this relationship past the two to three month mark. Something stops you from going further. And it's probably because the newness has worn off a bit and now you're getting into the real meat of the relationship, which can be scary. So talk to somebody about it. Please let me know what happens. Write me anytime. And I'm always curious to know how, you, how somebody makes out after. And I'm here for you anytime. So thanks everyone for listening to Dear Cyber Sue. Please subscribe if you haven't already done so. And please click like and leave your comments below. Thanks so much everyone.